So I'm currently at Punda Maria. Uh, we got here yesterday. The weather's been pretty bad, but it's nice to see the bush with so much water. Uh, this morning we took a drive to Pufuri, but unfortunately all the roads are closed, all the dirt roads. Um, but it was nice to see the Lavuvu River uh, flowing quite nicely. And yeah, the Mahoney Loop yesterday was, was good. Not much game, but we had a crazy storm come through. Um, so that was nice, lots of lightning. I uh, got some nice uh, video of some Impala and some Zebra with a bit of lightning and thunder. Um, so yeah, we're here for 17 nights. Uh, should, be, should be a nice trip. Summer's challenging photographic wise, but you know, it's the conditions we come for in summer. It's, it's not so much about the photography. It's about seeing the bush thriving, seeing the animals and the birds thriving. So yeah, it should be a good trip. Um, nice to see the bush so green and lots of water flowing through. Lots of frogs, lots of insects. It's great to be here. It's the second afternoon of our trip. Uh, we put in Punda Maria for two nights. So I've just come out uh, on my own around the Mahoney Loop. Uh, it's a really nice drive. I haven't been here in a few years. Oh, there's some buffalo. Let's stop and check them out quickly. As I was saying, I haven't been to Punda Maria for a, a while, a couple of years. And this Mahoney Loop is one of my favorite drives. It's very overgrown now. The bush is very green and thick. Um, but it's a beautiful drive, lots of tall trees and very dense foresty sort of areas and mountains. And so yeah, while I'm here, I'm taking the advantage of driving this loop a couple of times. It's still raining. It's been raining most of the day. It started yesterday. And um, I don't see this rain stopping for a while. But the bush in the rain is fantastic. Photography can be challenging, but can make for some awesome images. Hopefully I managed to capture some of them just now. I'm not sure if you can see these red flowers behind me. I've got no idea what they are. I'll put a little description up on the video. But there are tons of these flowers all around. Absolutely beautiful. Splash of colour. And the greenery here is magnificent. It's very eye-catching. So I'm nearing the end of the Mahoney Loop and today and yesterday have been very challenging photographic-wise. I haven't really taken any decent images. I've taken a couple, um, which I'll throw on the screen now. But um, yeah, it's been seriously challenging. It's still raining. I think the rain's actually getting harder. It's making, uh, yeah, making driving fun on these dirt roads. Uh, there's water everywhere. There's little rivers flowing where they don't normally flow um, So yeah, it's magic. So I think it's about an hour and a half before gate closing time Although the Sun sets after the gate closes today. I think it's gonna get dark quite soon So I think I'm going to head back and call it a day But uh, we'll catch catch you all tomorrow on uh, day three tomorrow. We're heading to Shingwedzi. It's been a good two days in Punda it's been so nice to see the bush like this. It's magic. I haven't seen this much rain in Kruger for a long time. So, take care everyone and we'll see you tomorrow. So I'm just sat here at the confluence of the Mpungolo and Shingwedzi rivers near Shingwedzi camp. Um, our time here at Shingwedzi has been fairly quiet. We've been here one night so far. It's uh, been, yeah, there hasn't been much game. But we did get a leopard yesterday coming in from Punda to Shingwedzi on the, I think it is the, let me check here for you. It's the S56, one of my favorite roads. I can't believe I forgot the name. Um, a female leopard just before the, the main road, uh, finishing off the S56, uh, she had a, a, a small impala kill. Uh, we went back there yesterday afternoon to see her, she was still there. She dropped the, the kill down uh, just before we left, so that was quite interesting. She went down and fed on the ground, 
not a great sighting, but nice to see. Um, this morning we did the road following the the, um, the Shingwezi River. It was fairly quiet. Some amazing trees in that area, though. Had some good time viewing those trees. Um, you know, there's lots of general game around. The predators are here. We've heard from a few people there's some lions around as well. But two more nights in Shingwezi, and uh, then we're off to Latabo for two nights. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, hopeful we get some some predator action, but. Nonetheless, it's just great to be here. Morning. It's 4.20 in the morning. I'm about to head out on drive. It's the first morning I've seen some stars. Uh, the clouds cleared up yesterday. Um, hoping for a good drive. I think I'm going to head south along the uh, Shingwezi River. The S56 is closed. There's a river running through the road that's damaged the road and it's impassable. So they've closed that road off. Um, but yeah, yesterday was a magnificent day. Yesterday afternoon. All those birds as you've seen um, but uh, yeah let's see what happens the moon's out the stars are out there's a bit of cloud a little very little bit of high cloud but uh, should be should be a good morning looking forward to getting some light even if it's on some impala or some elephant or something that'd be good but uh, yeah let's, uh, let's see what happens
morning I'm standing on the Lataba bridge yesterday we got to Lataba we decided to just relax been a long well not a long five days a busy five days before so we took the opportunity yesterday to just relax have an early braai but I'm out this morning on the Lataba bridge uh, beautiful sunrise some nice clouds around it's a nice uh, two nights stay here I enjoy the Lataba area the view over the river here is fantastic that's one of the attractions for me for for Lataba. Uh, I like to just you know come and stand on the bridge and, and listen to the birds and just, uh, look at the animals drinking in the river and feeding. But yeah, we're just here for two nights. Um, try to do some birding while we're here. But I'm excited to see what opportunities come our way. Making my way back to Lataba. We leave here tomorrow. Uh, it's been a good time in Lataba. Lots of water around. And a hippo and a small pond over there. But it's been fairly quiet, but it's been a nice time to recharge a little bit. Uh, recharge batteries, download footage, download photos. And yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Getting to Satara, it's my favorite area of the park. It's normally quite a good area for photography. Good predator action, good good general game as well. So we're looking forward to that. But for now, I just want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. So I certainly have enjoyed it. It's been a fantastic time in the park. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what Sotaro holds for us. And then Lower Sabi and Bachendal to finish the trip. It's been so far an amazing time. Kruger is looking spectacular. And yeah, it's proven time and time again that Kruger is a fantastic destination for photography and just to experience the bush. Uh, so from me, thank you very much and we'll see you in the next episode.